Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing, and before we get into the training, I just want to let you know that this is just a small portion of a much larger ClickFunnels course. There's more information on the course down below this video, and there's ways to access the course for free. So again, just look below for information on how to join the course, and I hope you enjoy this training. In this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about the membership areas that you can create within ClickFunnels. Now, the membership areas, I wouldn't really consider them a membership portal per se, because when I think of a membership portal, I think of a, a place for people to come to, have like message boards or forums, uh, ways to get in touch with each other, ways to build, you know, like a community and a membership and all that other type of stuff. And of course, you could go ahead and do that on Facebook and everything, which is what a lot of people do already. But within ClickFunnels, the membership portal is more for digital asset delivery. So for example, you could deliver your courses through their membership portal. You can deliver PDFs or zip files or images or whatever digital asset you wanna deliver, you can do so through their membership portal. So this is very helpful and it's included with your account. So that's, it's awesome for that, but it's not, I don't know that it's a membership area per se. That's just my take on it. It's perfect for delivering digital assets and that's how I'm going to show you how to use it. Now, they do have a bunch of tutorials on their membership areas and setting up membership funnels. So I'll include a link down below for this information and you can watch their tutorials on how to, how to do it. And they also tell you how to design the pages and all that good stuff where I'm not going to go into too much detail on it in this video because they already invented that wheel. I don't need to go ahead and reinvent it. So I'm not gonna show you that per se, but I'm gonna show you how the membership portal functions essentially, because this is something that took me a little while to understand and wrap my head around because it was I, I, it was just weird to me. I haven't built something like this before and I didn't really get how it worked out of their training here. So I'm trying to speed up your learning and show you how I see the membership portal so that way you could apply it to your business when you're delivering your digital assets and everything else. So of course what we'll do is create a new funnel here and we're going to just sell a product and membership and I'll just call this membership portal and build funnel. All right, so when you build your membership funnel here, we have two pages that it automatically creates. Your membership access page, so that's the place where somebody could register their account or log in if they already have an account. And then there's the actual membership area itself, which is where you would host your digital assets. So your courses, your PDFs, whatever you want to have hosted. Now, how I see the membership portal is, you have a membership portal for like, one business, so one membership portal for one business. So if you have 15 different courses for one business, you'd put all 15 courses inside this one membership area. You wouldn't create different membership areas for every single individual course. Because if you did that, you would wind up having like 15 different login pages, people with 15 different login informations and it would just get incredibly overwhelming and huge and like impossible to maintain. So remember that one membership portal per business, no matter how many digital assets you have in there. And you can restrict what people can see based off their purchases within the membership area. So that's how you could only allow so-and-so to see product A that they purchase and not see product B that they haven't purchased yet. So remember that key fact. One membership portal per business, no matter how many different products you have. That's the thing that was hard for me to understand because I was adding membership areas and portals to every product I had. So I had nine different portals and it was a sloppy, sloppy mess. So please get that fact. That's, that's the hard key fact that I want you to grasp in this video. Okay, so now let's go ahead and set it up a little bit and I'll show you how to restrict your content. So let's just pick out our membership access page. This one looks beautiful. And I'll just pop it up real quick so you can take a look-see. So log into your account, your email and your password, and they could log into their account. And when they do that, they'll be brought to our membership area here. And they have a few different templates. And of course, you can go ahead and customize it. But I'm just going to select one real quick. And this is where you'd go ahead and set up your membership area. So sections 
are what I want you to consider your products. So each section represents a product that you offer. And it's pretty self-explanatory on how to restrict access. You click restrict access. And this first section, we'll call it Facebook course. So let's say that this is my Facebook course and it's actually connected to course example, which is my funnel name, and then the product A within course example funnel. So if somebody purchases product A within my course example funnel, they're going to have access to my Facebook course. So that's how you connect your different funnels to this one membership area. And I'm gonna do another example in just a minute here. So if that was like, huh? Hopefully when you see it again, it'll make some more sense. And of course, when you work on it more and more, it'll start piecing itself together on the connections that are being made. So we have section one, which is my Facebook course, and I would go ahead and fill it up with all the lessons inside the course that I offer. So we'll just say lesson two. I right, select my, my page template. We'll say it's a video lesson. We can drip delay. I want everything ready instantaneously, but if you have like a recurring membership and you want to drip different courses or products every 30 days or whatever so people will stay subscribed to your membership area, you could set a drip delay for, you know, 31 days so it keeps them on board for one more payment or strategy you want to employ to get people to stay in your membership area. So I'm just going to hit create lesson. So I got lesson one, lesson two, and I could just keep adding more lessons. You open the editor and it's a WYSIWYG editor, just like the page builder. You got your sections, rows, columns, elements, and you can design your lessons like that. Close that out, you can duplicate. So if you come up with a theme or a layout you like, just duplicate the page and edit the new page with the new content and so on. All right, so now let's say that I wanna add a different product to my membership portal. So add new lesson section. And I'm gonna call this one the sales funnel book. So this is just a PDF that I would deliver and I'm gonna say it's an example funnel and book. So when they buy this book, they're receiving access to this membership portal and this lesson section. So create lesson section. So this section will only appear if they purchase the book in my example funnel. So that's a product name within that funnel. So now I need to add a lesson to it so I could deliver my book. So the sales funnel book download your book here and this will just be a resource list or membership it doesn't really matter what you select here because you're going to get the WYSIWYG editor and you can change it however you want anyway so create lesson and I'd open this on up and I could go ahead and add my link in here for this, the book tell them a little bit about it maybe shoot a video thanking them for the purchase or how to approach the book or whatever you know normal asset or product delivery stuff and so that's how you go about setting up the membership area you have all your products and resources as different sections and then you have different funnels for your products and resources and you go about restricting access until they purchase that particular product or resource Hopefully that's making sense. That was a concept that was hard for me to grasp because like I said, I made like nine different membership areas and it was an overwhelming sloppy mess. So instead I recommend creating one membership portal for all your products and assets that you want to deliver and then you restrict access with inside of it. So this here is a secret signup URL and you can also give people access through that fulfillment email. If you remember setting that up a few videos ago, there was the option to include a link to the registration page and you could hit the drop down and select this membership access page as the thank you page. And that way people could just go in and set up their account. Or what you could do is send them this link right here, the secret signup URL. And let me pop up. Let me pop up an incognito window and I'll go in here and I'll show you what happens when you register. So I'm just going to sign up real quick. And as you see right here, when I log in, I don't have access to anything because I haven't purchased anything quite yet. So you could send this little registration link out to anyone. It doesn't really matter until they purchase something and have 
access to the restricted area. So this again is the link you send out to get people to sign up and if they purchase something, then they're going to have access to it and it's all connected through the email address. So when they sign up for the membership portal with their, their email address and then they've gone through a funnel to purchase one of your products or resources and they've used that email address ClickFunnels is going to connect the two things together, the membership portal with the email that email address and then the product they just purchased with that email address and it'll form the connection for you so you don't have to worry about that happening. They're going to get access unless they use a different email address of course and then things just get wonky and it happens. People have more than one email address and they might forget which one they were using for what. So let me go ahead and give myself access so you can kind of just see what it looks like when they have access. So now I can edit my, my member here and I'm going to come over to purchases and I can add purchase for product access. So I can manually go ahead and add this stuff in if you want and that way you can you know test things out as well. So product A, I believe that was my Facebook course. We'll see what happens. So there I gave myself access to product A and now if I come back in here and refresh my screen I should have access to product A and there we go I have access to fit my Facebook course so I could go ahead and you know take the course so that's the membership portal in a nutshell I really wanted to cover the concept of it because that was the hard part for me the tutorials that ClickFunnels gives you doesn't really show that connection so I really wanted to make sure you understand how it works because it's really helpful and really powerful for delivering those digital assets and it comes with your ClickFunnels account and it connects nicely so it's worth using for sure but it's just a little weird to understand just remember one membership portal per business and then you have all your digital assets in that one membership portal and you restrict access based off of what they purchased through the other funnels you may have set up like your book funnel or opt-in funnel or multi-product funnel or whatever funnels you have 